Okay, let's give you a quick demo of Maps version 2 on the Nokia N82. And uh, there's quite a few changes, main ones being that uh, satellite imagery has been included. There's a walking mode, which I assume is basically for the compass uh, or more pedestrian facilities that are available on some of the models now, on the new models. Um, there's also internet search facilities, so what you can see at the bottom of the screen is the search window and you can basically type uh, the usual stuff in there. So let's try uh, going for a restaurant. Oops. So, restaurant. Now this search facility looks like it's just searching a POI database at Nokia rather than anything like Google or Yahoo. But you can see that uh, it's picked up my local restaurant there and the nearest restaurant there so I can just show that on map and that will go to it and then you can basically hit the middle button walk to oh, that's interesting actually called the number let's try that again so Rest restaurants searching places. So there's the nearest one. Show a map. Now if you do walk to, it's calling the number. Okay, that's obviously a bug. This is beta software, of course, downloaded downloaded from um, beta, nokia.com slash beta labs. Okay, all right, let's put the, the route on there. So, uh, let's switch to navigation mode. And then you can do 3D map. And you can also do this satellite. Uh, I'll put the hybrid mode on, but it should add the satellite information in. The only problem is it hasn't got it for such fine detail. You actually have to go out in my area to get the satellite details but I assume that in cities they're going to make that detailed enough so that you can actually use it to walk walk around and see things and maybe add some 3d facilities in there like uh, important buildings and so on. Um, the user interface has changed it's a little bit better now um, if I just stop the navigation there's a GPS view on the bottom here with kilobyte count for your internet access um, I don't I would like to make it go full screen but I haven't been able to do that yet there's a permanently on search box there as well the other thing you've got is traffic information which is going to be really good and I've subscribed to the traffic info with a 30 day account but it doesn't seem to be updating at the moment so maybe maybe that's not working at the moment but that's going to be uh, well actually that and the live search facility, fill, facility fills in the two missing things from Nokia Maps so it's really good to see that uh, there's also a little key indicator there showing you how to zoom in and zoom out. So 
So it's looking good at the moment. I'm really pleased to see this. Um, I would have liked to have seen some sort of online search facility linked with Google or Yahoo, um, but having an online POI, da POI database means they can update it very quickly. And it looks like they're integrating it with the the guides that are available as well. So you go to extra, extras, guides. Now I've got the local guide here, and uh, I'm fortunately my 10 minute license is timed out so I can't show it to you. The full license is $7.99, but it had a good deal of information in there. Uh, something like 150 POIs with full handwritten information about them as well, along with telephone numbers and URLs. So it could be pretty useful if you're spending a week in a new city. Um, I would pay $7.99, no problem to get some good information. So basically that's a quick overview, overview of it, of course uh, I've only had uh, half an hour to play with this since it was announced at Mobile World Conference, but at the moment it's looking really good and uh, it's a lot better than the, the old Maps application.